But homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. I just hit the stop. I don't want to speak. All right, guys, it's BC back with another video. So in this video, we are going to touch on snow check. If you're like me, you procrastinate with everything. And so you have a week left. Time is ticking. So if you want a snow check order, if you want to get exactly what you want, hopefully it comes in. But if you hope to get exactly what you want, you need to put in before the end of this month and whatever manufacturer you're gonna go with, go on their website and check their dates. Hopefully your dealer still has allocation. If you're confused and you're still trying to do some research on what to snow check, I'm gonna help you out in this video and I'm gonna make it super quick, super simple. Most of you already know what brand you want to be on next year. If you don't, I'm gonna give you my opinion on a brief overview of the difference. Uh, Polaris, I think is probably the best all around snowmobile. That's my opinion. If you're a ski do guy, whatever. Um, Polaris is the best all around snowmobile. If you wanna ride the trees, if you wanna do a little bit of everything or emphasize on technical tree riding, Polaris is where it's at. Um, Articat, the new Catalyst chassis, I have not rode it, but it's in a 600, so I think that's gonna limit uh, a lot of us. However, I think most of us probably couldn't tap out the potential of a 600 anyway. So I'm not gonna speak on the Articat because I have no experience. Most people don't have any experience on the Catalyst chassis. Um, moving to the BRP side of things, the Lynx is my choice out of the BRP lineup. Um, if you're a jumper, re-entries, kind of air, trying to air stuff out. In my opinion, Lynx is really good. They come with some stuff geared towards jumpers. Suspension, the skid is incredible. Um, it comes with like rail reinforcements. It comes with just a couple different things to like have that style of jumping, bashing, stuff like that. Uh, the ski do for me, that's just not, it's a great sled. It's just not my style. If I'm gonna go BRP, I'm gonna go Lynx. And uh, and from riding a Lynx last year, I might change the skis out next year um, if I get a new one. So going into each lineup, what in my opinion, you need to figure out what do you want Snowball to do and then build your build depending on that. But what you need to know is a lot of guys are like, well, I'll just see what the dealer has next year. I don't really want to commit to it. That's fine. But allocation is lower this year than it was last year, and it was low last year. So you are not going to be getting, you're not going to have 10 booths sitting on a showroom floor. Like if you want a 165, 3.25, you know, player's boost, you need to order it. Um, because you're, they're not going to be sitting around. There's not enough of them going around. So. Uh, yeah, I would definitely order snow check if you're gonna get a new sled if you're gonna think about getting a new sled I think it's worth it In my opinion you should be for mountain riding like we're in Colorado I'm speaking on that in my opinion. You should be on a 55 or 65 um, I think most guys think that they belong on a 146, but in reality they probably don't have the talent to ride a 146 and not only that it limits you in deep snow if you're going the 146 route, you have a nine arm Polaris and you have a 146 Lynx turbo and a 146 free ride turbo, or I think you can get that in any sled actually, but 146 ski do turbo. Um, if you're gonna go 155, obviously all the manufacturers have 155s uh, and they all have 165s as well. So that's kind of something that you need to figure out. And I can link a video in the description that talks about track length. So I'm gonna hop online and go to the snow check things. I'm gonna show you what I would build if I was gonna get a Polaris and a Lynx, cause that's what I would snow check. What I'd do, I'd start with the RMK. And uh, then I'd go, for me, like the Chaos is the sled to have. That's just my style. Uh, click next. So what I would do, riding from eight to 10, well, eight to 11,000 feet, I, would, I think the boost is the best thing for me right now. And uh, for those of you, and this is just my opinion, but for those of you that are worried about the low end of the Polaris, uh, from the factory, the boost is kind of weak actually, but I will say that through tuning, through Vogue, 
um, the Vogue shop, they, they can make your bottom end like pretty insane. So don't count that out. Um, if you need the, the elevation savings, uh, get the boost and worry about the low end later. That's my opinion. So next I would go with the 55 275 track. That's just what I've had great luck on what I really enjoy riding. I like the shorter track. All right, guys. So now it loads the 3d experience so now this i mean these are just preferences but the colors i would go with i would wrap next year so i'd get the black and the black and uh next dude i don't know i people like i would probably go electric start honestly high elevation clutching um People are like, oh, God, that it's so heavy and blah, blah, blah. And it's like for old men. And I don't know, dude. I like electric start is like kind of nice. So I'd probably go with it. Um, wind deflector. So when you roll your sled over on the 900th time, the windshield doesn't crack again. Uh, these shocks come standard with the chaos boost. So the, that's what you get. Um, I would go low um, unless you're super tall. I don't think you need um, a taller handlebar than uh, than the low. Comes standard with the 7S. The 7S is so sick, so I definitely am happy with the 7S. And so that is my build. Um, you can go in here and get some other little accessories and stuff like that. But this would be my build, all black, chaos, just like I've snow checked the last three years, so or last two years. So that's it from the player side. Let's hop over to the BRP side, meaning links, and I'll show you what links I would snow check. All right, guys, so now we're on uh, the links website. It's brplinks.com. Uh, for me, obviously, riding the mountains, we want the shredder. Um, so I'm gonna select the shredder. It's gonna load here. Build your shredder. So that this is how we're going to select the options that we want. The Shredder RE is basically Lynx's version of the Ski-Doo Freeride. So it's gonna come with some suspension um, upgrades. It's gonna come with the anti-stab wheels and uh, some other stuff for uh, getting a little more rowdy. So this is more of your Summit mountain style snowmobile. This is more of your freestyle snowmobile. Um, so I'm trying to be a freestyler. So I'm gonna pick this Lynx RE and uh, there's some packages. I'm not gonna get the packages. I'm curious if they're going to come with a bumper this year. They didn't last year. Yeah, it looks like they're not again. Okay. Anyway, so now there's not very many options with the links that you can select. So I would go black. So when you select black, it's going to go the high altitude calibration. You're going to get the 850 E-Tech Turbo R. And you're going to go to a 3700, which is a 146. So this is it, it kind of builds it itself. Wow, look at that background. You can go into options, this and 146. This is the most appealing sled out of the BRP lineup in my opinion. And then I would go with uh, the color display. I think that's kind of cool. I've heard that it's pretty worthless, but it's still kind of cool, so. Um, so that's basically what I would build from BRP. All right, guys, so that is my two cents on snow check this year. These are all my opinions. I want to make this super quick. I know a lot of guys are kind of bamboozled on uh, on what sled to get for next year, but hopefully this helps. Um, this is just my thoughts on it, what I would build. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I love to chitter chatter about snowmobiles. So um, link in the description on the track video. Follow us on Instagram. Love you. Peace.